Hi, I'm Will Winder, and I have a demo I'd like to present. Uh, what I've been doing for the past few weeks is developing an ant simulator. Now, this is for the Nintendo DS, and I made it using some open source tools that were created by the DevKit Pro team by reverse engineering the uh, Nintendo DS hardware. Um, and I'll just start here by loading up the ROM file. Um, so you can see that I've got some basic movement and player interactions here. Uh, a quick note, you've got the ants, some basic statistics up here that are going down, and you can see that he's holding something that just got eaten. Uh, so it's got some basic uh, ant statistics going on, and here you see that you can move between the underground tunnel system and the surface, and here you can see some food was placed randomly in this location. So there's some basic map stuff that I've already got in place. And there's some simple AI algorithms that I've got. And a couple that I'll, I'd like to highlight here. Um, if I reset this real quick, you can see that the tunnel system is randomly generated each time the game starts. Um, so that should keep things interesting. Uh, now, going into the basic types of AI I have so far, right here is the queen ant. And you can see she's dropping these little orange boxes all over the place. And over time, they grow. And eventually, uh, when they get large enough, they'll actually hatch, and an ant will come running out. Um, the AI for the queen here is essentially that she will stand still unless she doesn't have a spot to put an egg, and then she'll run around. And here you see some ants are spawning. Um, and they will just run around randomly. Um, so the latest addition that I have is this redness you see appearing. And what that is is the chemical trail that the ants are leaving behind. Um, this will allow me to do some interesting uh, AI algorithms to have the ants sort of follow a similar path. And if I spawn a bunch of ants, some of them will run out. And you can really see it in action um, as they walk across the same spots concentrated around this black hole, which represents the, the ant hill. Uh, it gets darker and darker. Um, with what I have now, I think it'll really start to develop into something interesting, and I'll have all sorts of options for creating different artificial intelligences for the ants to forage for food and follow chemical trails and hopefully create something that's really fun and interesting to watch. Um, I'll be creating new videos as I develop new features, so feel free to subscribe and get those automatic notifications. And till next time, I'm Will Winder, and this is my ant simulator. Thanks.